at my lab, we're doing translational research where we're trying to understand um, the mechanisms of res cancer patients' response to immunotherapy. Uh, the problem is that tumors are very heterogeneous. That means like different portions of tumor are different, but current technologies analyze the tumor as a bulk. And so it doesn't allow us to tease apart these differences. I think the bigger challenge is that we heavily rely on the patient samples, sample quality, and also the number of samples that we can acquire at one time, and also the technology that we can access to analyze the sample. Spatial transcriptomics will allow us to understand gene expression in the context of the spatial location of each cell. So we can see the different interactions between immune cells and tumor cells, and also what signaling pathways are going on at different regions of the tumor. It will be definitely helpful to help us to answer where are those cells and how close are they, and among them, whether those cells are physically interacting with each other. This information is so important, especially come into the context for cancer immunotherapy. It may affect whether the patient will respond to the immunotherapy or not. We just load the sample, the library, onto the flow cell, the past the bear, and put into the sequencer. Just load the sample, just put into the machine, and click start. We ran some QC and basically it will take about 12-13 hours for the sequencing to be done and then all the data will be uploaded onto BaseSpace. We can use our BaseSpace uh, account to analyze and to assess the data. So to me it's really straightforward and seamless. From sample prep all the way through to the data analysis, everything is very user-friendly and streamlined. The integrated solution of NanoString DSP technology, Illumina sequencing, and the base space analytics solution are very impressive. Currently, I have been using a single cell RNA sequencing solution, but the limitation is that even I can understand what type of immune cells are there, what type of tumor cells are there, but I don't know where are they physically in the spatial context. So with the spatial solution, it definitely can help us to understand how close are those immune cells and tumor cells and whether they are physically interacting with each other. This all-in-one solution is really convenient and it's quite easy to adopt in the lab settings. So this technology is very cutting edge and we hope that we can apply it to more of our samples in the future. And we hope that that will basically reveal insights into why some cancer patients respond to immunotherapies and why some don't.